Today's one another is to greet one another. And how you greet someone is really important. And when you're really close to that person and you're a good friend, you greet with an exuberant joy when you meet each other, especially when you meet unexpectedly. How often do we hear sermons on true Christian friendship? Today, our reading comes from Romans chapter 16, verse 16. And before I read it, I want to share with you a story. A couple of years ago, I went on a uh, Christian weekend with men and I made a new friend. His name was George. Maybe he's watching this today. And when I came off the weekend, I was uh, walking through the shopping mall, telling my wife about all the friends I'd made on this weekend. When I heard this big booming voice go, Rev Scott, and I looked up and here strode George with purpose. He'd seen me in the crowd and he walked towards me and he grabbed me and he went, mwah, mwah, on each side of my cheek. I didn't know what to do. He greeted me because he's Greek. And Greeks greet. They really, really greet, uh, greet well. And he hadn't shaved either. Romans chapter 16, verse 16 says, Greet one another with a holy kiss. All the churches of the Christ, Christ greet you. Now, I don't say you have to be like George, but there's something to be said about the way we greet people and the level of friendship we have. Do we find our joy in each other? And what does the world see when the church comes together? Going to church, you see so many conversations of true friends greeting each other. But you also see so many people who are alone. Why not greet them with a holy kiss? More hearts have been won with a greeting than with a sermon. On another occasion, we went to the mall and we bumped into a couple and we started to talk from church. And before long, a family joined us from the church. And then a single guy and someone else. And before we knew it, there was 25 of us standing in a circle having a greeting meeting. And the whole mall wanted to know what was going on. What was going on was that it was joy and we were happy to be together because we were true friends in Christ. And so the world is watching us. And today I encourage you to continue greeting and greet with all your heart. Greet with hugs if you can in a post-COVID world. Greet as if you mean it and become true friends and welcome the stranger. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you that we have this wonderful gift, gifts of handshakes and hugs and kisses that celebrate the true friendship we have, a friendship that can only come from Christ. Help us to greet each other with such joy that the world looks and says, I want to be a part of that group and help us to include them too. In Jesus' name, amen.